All right, I think we are ready to go. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another stream. Uh, I know the second one this week. Uh, it's very exciting. Uh, uh, not really. It's not really that exciting, I guess. Um, but yes, hi, hello. Uh, welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, I am certainly having a day. Um, I woke up around noon. <laughs> I slept in today and um, uh, didn't really do a whole lot. Just kind of chilled for the day and that is perfectly fine. I'm perfectly happy with that um, because there is not really anything that I needed to do today. Um, but uh, today uh, we are entering, oh, well, re-entering uh, world that I was not sure we would get to see more of. Uh, Midnight Scene released a fourth installment, Octavi Navarro. Um, and I'm very excited to see what he has done. Uh, the chapter's title is called A Safe Place. Um, and I'm just excited to jump right in. Um, I feel like I had more um, to say, I have been debating on what I'm going to be playing after this game, or rather what would have been after the Mario Kart series. Um, I just didn't know what it would be. Um, I think I have it nailed down. Um, and the shirt that I'm wearing kind of gives it away. Uh, <laughs> I think we're going to be playing Metal Gear Solid next. Um, but, um, it, that may or may not change. We'll see. Uh, tune in next week to find out. Um, but yeah. Uh, I don't really have anything else to say. Oh, I almost forgot. I have a snack for this stream. I actually remembered to put something aside. I have, I have these. They're Pez. Pez candy. I have Pez candy. I'm one of those people that has Pez candy in the modern age. Um, I don't have a dispenser. I'm just eating the candy because I care more about the candy than I do the actual dispenser. So hopefully I won't forget to eat those. Um, if I do, we'll, we'll, you'll see. Um, but anyway... I don't really have anything else to say, so uh, I think I'm just going to jump right in, because um, I'm very excited to see uh, what this game entails. Um, also, I'm hoping that YouTube just doesn't end my stream today. If it ends my stream in the middle of the, the game again, then I, I'm going to cut I'm going to stop streaming on YouTube for a little while and just go to Twitch for a while and see what happens. I'll set up, I'll probably set up a new channel. Uh, I don't think I'll use my personal channel, but um, I'll set up a Twitch channel and I'll start streaming there. I will advertise it. Don't worry. And the streams will be re-uploaded onto this channel, but that's only if YouTube decides to fuck up again. Um, YouTube's on very thin ice. So if, if anything happens and my stream gets cut in the middle, that that's what's going to happen. Um, I'll probably talk about it more if said thing happens, but uh, hopefully we won't get to that point. Anyway, I'm going to quit yammering and uh, open up the game. Launching. There we go. Unity. Scandalous. Who uses Unity? This way contains scenes with intense flashing nights, lights, and loud noises. Ooh. Some of the content is not appropriate for all ages, including horror themes, gores, mental health, and suicide. Which. P Ooh.
Interesting. I am excited. Um. Yeah, I, I didn't think that would be anything different. Um. I, I'm pretty much ready to go. Let's jump right in. Hell yeah. The eye. Phil Larner, 23 years old. The four walls of his room have become his stronghold, a safe haven where he can take shelter from the outside world. In tonight's episode, we his new life will be threatened by terrible nightmares that will take him to unsuspected limits. Sorry, hold on. Let me, um... Ooh, excuse me. Turn off the lights and immerse yourself in this frightening story. Should I do that? I mean, I can. It's just... You won't be able to see me very well. Whatever. Welcome to a new dimension of horror. Welcome to Midnight Scenes. Oh, I've been so excited. This his theme is good, too. What have we got, Octavi? Surprise me. Ooh. It's a nice, quaint little place. Nightmares. Ooh, ooh, I. Phil. Interminate day. Nine twenty a.m. This is cool. I like the little. Waving cat thing, that's so cute. Is he just in his room? Health, healthy life will have to wait. 12 steps. No active. No activity registered this month? Wait, where did that say what? Washington? I've been living in my bedroom for 30 days. 30 days? What? You've been in this tiny little room for 30 days. I remember the moment I opened the door for the last time. Looking into the dark hallway, I froze. A sense of intense dread overcame me. This is cool. This looks awesome. I can only lock my... Lock the door and hide under the bed sheets. I haven't gone out since then. Are you okay? From that day forward, I stopped being Phil, the reliable, well-behaved, hard-working son, and became a parasite in my parents' home. Oh. His father likes to remind me, I'm ashamed of my family and this community. Well, that's not very nice. There are times when I feel like I should try to go out just one more time in case it's all a bad dream. But it isn't. So, wait. Okay, what's... Does this guy have, like, schizophrenia or something? Or, like, what's, what's going on here?
Because he seems like a cool dude. Otherwise, like he has a cool telescope and a full PC setup. Should we try? But it never works. That's so cool. The shadows keep harassing me day and night. Faceless nightmares that invade my mind. What do they want from me? My sanity hangs by a thread. What? What happened? How did it get to this point? That's what I want to know. It's very interesting. Okay, ho also hopefully you can see all the text. I'm only able to satisfy my basic needs. Everything else is beyond my brain's capacity. <laughs> oh, wow, you were not kidding. Uh, eat? I, uh, no, pee. When you go, when you get up in the morning, always go to the bathroom first. Are you gonna pee in a bottle? My bladder's going to burst. I hope so. I have some empty bottles left in the closet. Oh my god, that was a joke. That was just a joke. Why? No, please tell me you empty those. Please tell me you get rid of those. Oh no. His room must reek. Uh, I'm sorry, dude, but there's only so far. Need to pee now. Okay. Uh, uh, closet. Do I? Oh. Oh. What? This one will do. No. Why? Oh. Ugh. Are you gonna? Ooh. Oh, that's better. I'll put the bottle back in the closet. Uh, two, three, four, five. Five bottles full of the brim of pee. I think it's time to throw them in the trash can. Do you empty the trash can? Just throw the bottles from up here. I need bag and a rope to slide them in carefully into the trash can. Who gives a fuck? Just drop them in. You said I need a bag and a rope? Okay. Souvenir for the hunting and fishing expeditions with father. Finally, I can put this thing to practical use. I would have thought you would have done that at least once by now. Keys? Yeah. Uh, what does that say? Does it? Oh, it says Anime Con. 1819. Interesting. Great, now I need to find the bag to put the bottles in. There's probably one in the... On the shelf, I need to lower the bottles into the trash can. Well, yeah, I want where where find bag. Uh, is there a is it... oh. oh. Why don't you empty your trash can with it? Just put everything in there. That's... Interesting. Um, here we go. 
Damn. It... Damn wind. This pixel art is beautiful by the Oh, that's a mountain range. So I think he, I think he's in Washington. Is that right? It must be like in the like the snowy areas by the mountains. Also, the snow just kind of stops here. I don't know if that was intended or not. Damn wind. Uh. Ah, shit, I cut myself with a fishing line. So much blood. Texas Chainsaw Massacre levels of gore. Uh, not really? Put a band-aid on, maybe? Oh, it's his mom. <laughs> Philip, what was that noise? Is everything all right? Are you hungry, dear? I baked some pancakes for you. Pancakes! Fuck yes! Oh, I could go for some pancakes right now. You, d you better take that offer, man. <laughs> I ain't gonna come around not again. With syrup and extra bu butter, your favorite. Philip? Honey, it's been exactly a month since you locked yourself in your room. Your sister and I miss you very, very much. And your father is losing his patience. Is he gonna break down the door or something? What? I. <laughs> I need answers. What is the context? What is the, what happened? Do you think you're gonna come out just this one time and have breakfast with us, like a family? I'm sure I'm gonna leave eventually. Uh. Oh, this is a good choice. Um, let's do the same thing every time. This one? It's okay. I'm leaving the pancakes right here behind the door. This afternoon, I'll pick them up uneaten as always. bringing me food. God, why does he have to punish me like this? Am I such a bad mother? No, I don't think so. I... She's gone. Patch this wound before I bleed out. You're not gonna bleed out from a cut on your hand, man. Sock will do. I only wore it twice. No, no, that's gonna make it worse. Why? I'm gonna. I need Pez. I. I don't know how I became this person that just asked way too many questions. Um, with everything. Because that's this is how it is now. Like. In TV shows and movies and video games. This is like, guys, just shut up and play the fucking game. Watch the TV show or something. Oh, this is crumbling. Uh. 
Oh. Um. These are, um, as you can probably hear by my chewing, they're just a bit stale. Just, just a bit. Anyway, you're gonna get an infection. Mental note, notes. next time I slide a trash bag out the window, I should use gloves. Do you have gloves? What a mess. I hate seeing mother suffering. Mother, mother suffering. Unlike father, I know she tries to understand my condition. I like to tell her that I feel safe here. But I'm so ashamed of it all that words get stuck in my throat. What happened? Oh, this is it. Um, well, uh, you peed, I guess. Uh, eat. Do you have any food? I'm starving. Let's see what I can get for breakfast. How about you open the door and grab the pancakes that your mom made you? You know? Uh, not now. I'm starving. Uh... It is. Do I have to go to the closet again? What do we have on the menu today? Soup? Yaki soba? Corned beef? Stellar options, buddy. Uh, you know, you're not exactly stocked. To, you know, survive the apocalypse, man. Eventually, you're gonna have to get more. Uh, I don't know. That's disgusting. <laughs> Eat your own poop. That's. Let's try this. I need to heat it up. Where are you getting the water from? Oh, well, okay. Not gonna say anything? You're not gonna... So he's clearly bored. Um, is or like he's clearly got some kind of trauma, but from what? I I'm, part of it's leaning towards the dad. That's what I'm uh, thinking. Warm myself. Hands are frozen. I need to warm up the room. How about the space heater? Where did I leave the lighter? Didn't you use the lighter to... I must have put it somewhere around here. Didn't you have it with the... Okay. Uh, is it on the shelf? Oh, there you are. It ends up inside a pot of noodles. Like the one you just made, or because you had a light? Oh, whatever. I'm not gonna question it. One lighter. Just need to turn the heater on. Okay. Uh, oh, right. It's a flame heater. Not, a, not a space heater. Ah, much better. Socialize, I guess. 
spying on the neighbors is not exactly virtuous, but what the hell. Wait, that's what you meant by socialize? I thought you meant like internet. It's not, a way, it's not like I have many ways to re relieve my loneliness here. Uh, okay. station. Ooh, I love that parallax scrolling. Oh, this is so beautiful. Whoa. How far does this go? This goes pretty far. Whoa. <laughs> Mrs. Potter is a hardcore atheist. Our former pastor learned his lesson fast, but poor Father Adams moved here just a few days ago. There's a big house in the background. A big building there. This pixel art is beautiful, as always. Seems like you're doing a 360 around your house, buddy. Just saying. <sighs> oh, Noelle. Is she going to school or something? Ugh. And there's Brian, of course. Damn idiot. You don't have any chance with Noelle. Leave her alone. Can't you see she's in a hurry? Uh, key? Um. Uh. Um. That, uh, that was blood. That was blood. The only person in this damn town who doesn't judge me. Oh, that's Phil. Or maybe he just maybe she just hides her disgust. I used to work at her mother's grocery store during the holidays. Turn some extra money. I miss that life so much. Then go back to it. What's holding you back? Why? What? You've been here for a month. What's going on? I need answers. Nowadays, Noelle sneaks into my garden once or twice a week to bring me food. If it wasn't for her, I'd be dead for sure. Oh, so Noelle's your dealer. I see. <sighs> ah, Noelle. You're such an extraordinary human being. Oh, wait, I didn't... I wasn't done. Every day is exactly the same to me, indistinguishable from the rest. You sleep, eat, watch TV, but this it's this constant routine that helps me stay sane. If I'm lucky enough to not have mother and father knock at my door, I consider it a great day. Do we get a, like a time skip or something? Uh, not a hey Phil Noel here you ready for our date wait they're dating what Well, convince me to have a movie night date every few days to cheer me up. We also horror flick together while we chat. Um, I fancy something mild. How about kill and let's kill? Are you like, what's, are you like traumatized by your 
movies? Um, good choice. I like romance. Big town full of drunk teammate teenagers celebrating summer. Twin Pines. Great Falls reference? Nothing can go wrong. Hey, how's your day going? Uh, it's better talking to you well. You're my only friend left. I wonder why. I'm just saying. Don't be silly. Honey, did you leave the shed light on? Damn kids, they must have sneaked into the garden again. I'm gonna teach them a lesson. Well, I'm gonna teach them a lesson. Honey, give me my gun. <laughs> Uh, I was worried. You haven't logged in for hours. <sighs> I'm sorry. I've been dosing on and off the whole day. I'm very tired. Uh, this was my last try. Are you sure you don't want my therapist's number? Come on. She's a beast. She helped me recover from my depression. And it was a deep one. Oh, so you've been through it too. Uh, no wonder you help him. Makes sense. I mean, I get it. Like, if, if there's somebody that's struggling out there that you know they're struggling, help them in any way that you can and just be there for them. Because once they are... If they ever get completely isolated, that's it. It's just, they're done. They have nothing left. So it's just... Be there for people. Support your friends. Support your family. Um, and they'll find strength in your support. So. Uh, yeah, I'd recommend it, man. Therapy, you probably, you definitely need it. I'm not even going to say probably. You absolutely need it. Also, she has, I'm assuming that's a cat case, and that is adorable. And she's an anime geek, too. It's a nice extra. I'll think about it. Promise. Thought about it? No. <laughs> That's the extent of thinking. Hello? Anyone there? Jump scare incoming. Probably a cat. <laughs> she was right. <laughs> there it is. One point for me. You don't seem to be very happy, man. You've seen my, too many B movies. I mean, once, once, once you see enough of them, you know. How are you doing? Well, you know, I'm crazy busy at the grocery store with this cold home delivery orders. It's home delivery orders all the time. You know how it is. There was no one, honey. I must have left the light on. Pixel art, great as always. By the way, oh, that buzzing is, ugh. Uh, I don't know if I should tell you. Uh-oh. Uh, this year's anime con tickets are already available. Hmm. Uh-oh, it's slasher time. He just texts? <laughs> wow. And he's dead. Good job, everybody. We killed a man. Are you going to AnimeCon? I don't know yet. It would be weird without you, my loyal cosplay partner. Philip. Hmm. Please don't go without me. Well, see, I'm going to try and help Philip. I'm going to do everything I can to help Philip. 
the mm, this says that oh you just go on without me don't worry about me this will this says don't go without me I will try and come but it can also say uh, it'll also be she'll be like oh if you're not gonna come with me then I'm not gonna go and then he'll feel bad anyway so it's it's uh, it's a catch-22 uh, sure what's this please don't go without me Uh oh I'm sorry Uh oh I'm a horrible selfish ash oh no I fear I won't be sharing those special moments with you again of course you will well, at least she's optimistic you get over this little bump you'll see is he is is he just having an episode or something like a psychotic break is that what this is stream still going okay thank god ah, i hit the game i'm sorry ah Anyway, enough movie for me. I gotta hit the hay. Mom will kill me if I show up late at the store tomorrow. Bye. Night. Wish I had the strength to go to the convention with you, Noel. I'm fighting to leave this room every damned second. But in the meantime, I can only go back to my memories of us together over and over again. From time was when I was capable of being a supportive friend when you needed one. Flashback? <laughs> I came as soon as I could. We're back in the 50s, everybody. I like this kind of like vignette sort of memory. No, she has her own bathroom. That's sick. This looks so cool. What happened? <laughs> Asshole, I'd punch that stupid bastard's face in. I hate him. Who? I don't understand. My father! Uh-oh. I got home and found my mom crying her eyes out. Baking a chocolate... Baking chocolate plum cakes. Uh, okay. She had already cooked, cooked seven batches when I arrived, and the eighth was already in the oven. Is that a reference to Izzy Stevens from Grey's Anatomy? That sounds like an Izzy move and... Hmm. Do you know what that means? You're eating good tonight! <laughs> uh, an excessively high carb diet. <laughs> No, you idiot. Oh, fun, I'm sorry. Mom would come from. And Maniac, when she feels depressed, Dad confessed to her this morning that she had suspect what she had suspected for. Oh, no. He's been having an affair with a student in his class. What? No. That's highly illegal. She, he says he loves her and now he wants to start a new... What? <laughs> Who is this idiot? I'm sorry, Noel. I guess we're not enough for him. Fucking son of a... Hey, you know what? You two are better off without him. Hayashi women are true warriors. If he's not up to par, there's the door. Damn. Your mother is tough as nails, and you look at you. You've got your second cos you've got you got your second cosplay award at Anime Con. Yeah! Show me your war cry. Phil stop. This is the least comforting speech in history. I mean he's not wrong. <gasps> But thank you. I love you for trying. So wait, were they together or like... 
Um, what's the what's the what's the sit here? Another day, just like the rest. I fight to open the door, but I can't do it because the nightmares will get to me. And every and I remember the last time I tried to open the door. It was a dark and empty hallway, and I slunk in and I never came out. I wonder if this is going to be in my life from now on. Um. Uh, just taking up space in my parents' house like a piece of furniture. Well, I mean, you're not really taking up space. You're taking up an entire room. Because you're you barricaded the door. At least I can buy food with my own money. That makes me feel a little less like a parasite. Well, how do you get that money? That's the question. Don't tell me that... Don't tell me that Noelle's been giving you money. Because that is just... That's... I'm not... I'm not into that. Reminds me, I'm super low on supplies. Purchase food online. If I place, ooh, if I place my order now, I will bring it over to, this afternoon. Feeling like I'm abusing her generosity, but seeing your face up close always brightens my day. Ooh, that's a cool background. Orion. Yeah. Um, whack -a -mole. Heart Essence. gonna I'm defending my thesis tomorrow I'm gonna make a fool of myself Interesting. enlarge your penis now <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll miss you too what the Millionaire team hopes that everything's going well and that you had a chance to review our invitation to be our ski instructor's department once again. We hope to be like a nice do silly. Three winters. Wish you dearly, wish you best. You worked as a ski instructor? Dude, you know how to ski? You better teach me how to ski. I love to ski. Last call. Sorry. Sam. This is my third and final attempt to contact you. You let me down. Do this far into the semester and you just disappear. Where am I supposed to do? Find a new final project partner now. You know how much I need this grant. Not everyone was born wealthy, you know? Fucking shit, dude. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Sam. Enlarge your pensis now. <laughs> it's uh, legit news. A modern serious take on information for the concerned citizen. <laughs> Massive asteroid could extinguish life on Earth in 10 years. Have you wondered what would happen if the ma planet we call home was pulverized in a massive celestial collision? We might find out very soon. We are totally safe. What? Uh, we'll be passing close in astronomical terms, but it won't collide with Earth, assures Dr. Leffler, leader of the team that made the discovery. Is humanity doomed? Will our grandchildren be the last inhabitants of planet Earth? Subscribe now to learn more! Wow! <laughs> Artistic impression of the killer asteroid. That just looks like any generic space picture <laughs> that has an asteroid in it. Also... I love this jab at scientists. Like, why do you name, like, asteroids, planets, suns? 
that you find like why do you name it like weird names like that just call it like big fucking rock <laughs> like i would love to hear like <laughs> it was just a conversation it's like so uh apparently we're going to be seeing a big fucking rock go by in the sky <laughs> uh did you hear the the fucking comet is going to be fly flying by tonight it's supposed to be here around 3 a.m <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. Uh, I don't need to search anything right now. Search therapy. Hashi groceries online. Small little store has their own app. Oh, that's cute. Uh... Do I get the, uh, better not, these are the exact quantities I need for now. I don't need anything else. Does that say 90, is that 81 or 91? It's literally just the soup. Is your lighter down? Huh. Where are you getting this money? Are you actually like wealthy? Is that why? Hmm. Uh, the card on fire is expired or is out of funds. Your transaction was declined due to insufficient funds in your account. Please contact your bank. What the? Is there something wrong with my card? Uh oh. Cancelled? Shit, father, you've gone too far this time. Oof. What am I supposed to do now? Mm. Uh. Damn. Damn it, Piper. What? Someone there? Hello? Who's Piper? Is that your sister? Oh, you're Phil's ghost, aren't you? My brother used to sleep in that room, but he locked himself there a month ago when we never heard from him again. You, your room looks cool. I think he died. Very funny. If the, music if the music bothers you so much, you're free to come turn the volume down yourself. Well, that's kind of rude. Damn kid. Piper, my sister, a real world one. She definitely knows how to make our lives less boring. I'm sure. It's cool music. She's strong, Jacob. She'll make it. Is that your dad? Is she going to die, father? Don't be stupid. I need a smoke. Damn. Your father doesn't seem like a nice guy. None of the fathers in this entire series you seem to be very nice. Who lives, who dies, that is not for us to decide, Phil. No? Why are you saying this? It seems like the complete opposite. Only God guides our destiny. Okay, but that's not something you say to a child. Who's worried that her, his injured sister, I am assuming, is going to die. What? I'm confused. Keep fighting, sis. You gotta, when, I, when you get out of here, I'll always be by your side, taking care of you. 
from an only child from to overprotective older brother. Mother told me I had to be Piper's superhero and always have her back. Well, what happened? Over time, Piper grew up to a difficult girl, and God knows she suffered father's abuse more than anyone would ever deserve. Abusive father, I didn't see that coming at all. I tried to shield her from his wrath, like a real superhero would, but I don't think I'd do a very good job. I know I lack the strength to be out there for her. I hate myself for that. Okay, then do something. This house is a mess. Jesus. Something's gonna come through. Or a nightmare. Indeterminate day, 2.45 p.m. That was an odd transition. Oh, somebody's banging on the door. Don't you even answer? Have you gone deaf in there? I have been working my butt off to give you, you and your sister a good life. What do I get in return? A demon child and a slacker. Oh, that's not very nice. What the hell happened to you, son? You weren't like this before. I mean, that's true. Uh, this situation is getting very tiring. Your poor mother gets up er early every morning to bring you your favorite breakfast. And you just leave it here to rot. At least the ants are delighted. Ooh, I didn't even think about that. Oh, you know what? I should have guessed that he skied because there's fucking skis blocking the door. Whoa. <laughs> Maybe the time's come for drastic measures. You're gonna break down the door? You bring me a laxative filled breakfast every morning? You should thank your mother for stopping me. I would have dragged you out of there by your feet a long time ago. Drastic measures? Oh god. Just a panic attack. Calm down. Remember the five steps method. I'm fine. <sighs> My father. My fucking father. Well, if belittling his children was a sport, he would be the unbeatable champion. Would the Piper and I compete against our family's history of greatness and success? My great-grandfather built a logging umpire from the ground up, making him one of the richest businessmen of the region. Damn. Oh. <laughs> then my grandfather and inherited the company. He too was a person of great importance in this town. Interesting. But, oh, but the next chapter is the one he usually skips. In less than 10 years, my father's managed to ruin the company and the lives of all the families who depended on it. But no matter what, he still wants everyone to believe he's a big shot. Hmm. Interesting. So he spends his time making an a being an asshole to everyone around him. How much is the how much of this is like in conflated by what's um what's already in your head? You slept ten hours and twenty three minutes left. Your batteries are full. Let's go. Uh, I didn't check the. What a nice way to wake up. Okay, Phil, take a brief, deep breath and focus on your morning, morning routine. Uh.
Hey, good evening. In the storm we had. Snow plows are smoking. Anyway. Movie time! She seems so happy to watch these movies with him. Did you know the 60s classic Space Ravagers is on Got Film? Wanna, wa uh, wanna watch it? Mm -hmm. I, I don't have a subscription anymore. I'm afraid my father canceled my bank account. <gasps> what? Can, can he do that without your consent? Uh, if he has, if he's a partial, if he has, uh, co-control of it, he can. Or if, like, if you're a minor and you are part of that, it's a weird situation because this is exactly how it went with mine. Um, my dad owned the account and then I... It was my name on it, but he owned the connect account and controlled it. And then we had to cancel that account and transfer all the funds to a new account that was only controlled by me. So if he's part of an account where he his name is on it, but his father controls it, then he has full right to do that. Even if it's not right, and I feel like that's kind of stupid, but yeah... He can and he did. He is an asshole. Uh, yeah. He's an asshole. I tried to convince you he did it for your own good, but no, you're right. He's an asshole. Don't worry, though. I have a friends and family sub. An invite is on the way. happened this morning. Uh oh. You know, I suspect that Brian has a big crush on me. <laughs> well, he finally asked me out. Uh oh. Oh no. Hey, you there? What, what did you say? I think my reaction was something like, I just told him I was late for work, uh, that we should talk about it later. Y you didn't reject him? I thought you weren't interested. I know, but we talk a lot lately. He's cool. Well, I mean like, uh, fair and funny and smart and kind of cute, you know, just a little bit. He's kind of one of those guys, you know. Anyway, my brain is a mess right now. These signals are abnormal. The Earth is in danger. A big fucking rock is coming to destroy. <laughs> uh, I'm sure you'll make the right decision. The fuck does that mean? Or I'll screw it up, or I'll screw it up like always. Have mercy, if you destroy the earth, you'll kill mil millions of innocent people. Those are interesting looking aliens. Innocent, you pointed your weapons at Mars, slaying many of our people, or my people. But you would be punishing all humanities, all humanity for the crimes of a few. Perhaps you have the truth on your side, human. But we have the lasers! Oh, that's not good. What a bastard. Yes, thanks goodness. Thank goodness it's just science fiction. Anyway. <laughs> Hey, uh, you didn't order from food from the online shop yesterday. Well, damn it, Noel. Uh, I kind of just said that my bank account was canceled, so I can't. 
Is it because of your bank account? I'll talk to mom. She, uh, she won't mind lending you some food. Lending? Am I renting out the food? Am I just gonna... Uh... <laughs> is it on loan? Uh, we do the same with Mrs. Potter at the end of every month. Uh, I'm sorry to be a burden. Hey, don't start, okay? You're not a burden, nor a piece of shit that nobody cares about. You're a smart, caring guy, going through a rough time. That's all. And you are my guardian angel. Just, just ask her out, man. Playing this for an hour already. It's interesting. Something's gonna happen. Whoa. Phew, I figured that was a nightmare. Ah, enough! What the fuck do you want from me? Oh, I need to lower my revs. Revs? Shit, did I leave the TV on? I'm a mess. What's on the... what's on the... Why is your arm like that? You're like... <laughs> I'm Chip Chirpley. Still suffering the effects from this unending cold wave. We haven't seen a snow snowstorm like this since 1964. It is Washington. I went, ooh. I wonder if those county lines are correct. Hold on. I need to know. Hold on. Hey, they are. That's really cool. That's attention to detail, and I love to see it. Yeah. Remember to put your warmest clothes when leaving the house and avoid driving unless necessary. Midnight scenes. Um, and most important of all, don't miss this evening's episode of Midnight Scenes, written and directed by Sil Sylvia Gardner. Ooh. Is this a teaser for the next one, or...? In Dance of Spring, Miss Lawrence will find her house invaded by a hive of mutant alien ants. Sounds terrifying. Interesting. That's funny. A little self promotion there, uh, Octavi. I like it. So let's check how bad the storm is. Opens the windows. <laughs> okay, let's go this way. For all to you guys, would be this way this time. You did it again. Well done. What does that mean? Oh, that's the edge. Okay. I saw blood at the church. What is that about? Hi. Who are you? Okay. Big building back there. Oh god. My heart is going to explode. It's just a bird, dude. Calm the fuck down. Also, isn't your telescope inside? So that doesn't that mean there's a bird now inside your house? Well. Well, feck. Oh. Yikes, all the collection money going 
All the collection money will go into fixing the bell tower. This cold wave will end up sweeping the whole town. Damn. There was blood! Did that lady hit the guy? Can we, we can't go up. Kind of stinks. Whoa. Sign's all busted. All busted and shit. Wait, is your is is something gonna be wrong with Noelle's house? Mm. You shameless rat. I don't like this. Oh, there's Noelle. Talking again. There you are, Brian the Stalker. What a coincidence, you always show up when Noelle goes to work. Leave me alone, you ruined my life. Don't you dare raise your voice at us. Who do you think you are? I'll teach you to show you some respect. I don't care. You don't care about me at all. I hate you. <laughs> Is it true, Jacob? Are we horrible parents? Both of our children hate us. They don't even want to see us. What are you talking about? Of course not. But don't worry, I'll find a way to keep these ingrates under check. We can't allow these attitudes any longer. I mean, there, there is one way to fix that, and it's not the iron hand of the law that you're suggesting. It's more like compassion, empathy. Uh, something else that I don't know. Uh, understanding. It's just that uh, the Lord is testing us. There's no doubt about that. But I know we're doing a good job. Our friends, our neighbors, I hear them in the church. They're whispering about what's happening in this house. Have faith. Everything will be fine. Oh, that's why he's such a fucking asshole. He's Christian. <laughs> I... I'm going to keep my, sh my mouth shut on that topic. So just, just, just. Talk to Piper. Hey. Hello? Piper, are you okay? Oh, look who decided to break his vow of silence. What, what happened? <laughs> Leave me alone. You don't give a shit either. Whatever it is, I'm sure there's a solution. Sure, I can always follow your example and lock myself my, in my room for, my, for a while. It's because of that boy? <laughs> he broke up with you. He's been acting very weird lately, and suddenly he told me he's trying it again with Amanda, his ex. Oh, that's a bad, uh, bad. <laughs> well, I got more chat, so that means the stream's going okay. Sorry, everybody. It's all father and mother's doing. They never approved to my relationship with Jake. They, they talked to his parents and scared him. What the <laughs> fuck does that mean? But this was just another mark on the wall for father. He rejoices in my humiliation. Mother is too stupid to even care. I'm drowning in this fucking house. Man, I've been there. Imagine needing parental approval for a relationship. Yeah, no fucking kidding. Uh, now just when they need when I need you the most you lock yourself in there <laughs> I never felt so alone 
Piper, I... No, fuck you. You're just as shitty as them. Damn. That's so sad. I'm so sorry, Piper. <coughs> oh. Power outage. Or not. The fuck? The hell is this? Who took over my computer? What's this? A private invitation? Find the password. Electra Agamemnon Agam Agamemnon Prometheus. I'm assuming these are Greek. Uh, I'm really good at these. Let's see. Password correct. Whoa. Puzzle Inferno? What the fuck is this? Uh... Okay, so just, just so everybody knows, if something like this happens on your computer and it just starts doing stuff on its own, unplug it. Unplug your computer and do not turn it back on until you know the things are better. Like, you just straight up unplug it. Cut the power to it. Just don't. Maybe turn off the internet to your house. I'm assuming this goes in there. Do the corners. Can I, like... If it's correct, it'll fit. Gotcha. Oh, it's Piper. What the fuck? That's Piper. What the hell? Oh, it's just a nightmare. Oh. He just had a nightmare. Oh, I didn't catch what time it was. Another nightmare. What the hell is wrong with me? I no longer know if I'm sleeping. Oh, so the entire thing was a nightmare? Oh, that's interesting. These shadows that stalk me in my dreams, I feel like they're trying to show me something. Point me to a specific path. But what does it all mean? Shit, my brain is about to melt down. I gotta do something. Your users achieved. Good for them. Elkmer. Oh, it's still the middle of it. Is it night already? Not like it matters. So what do you suppose? I ran out of food. Unless the wall brings me supplies tomorrow, I'll die here. Freezing. Will the stupid cold wave end? I need to warm up the room. Is your, uh... Your lighter? Oh. Ah, much better. Oh, come on. 
ran out of gas, of course. Oh, it's a gas heater. What's this? A note? Hello? Uh, I'm sorry I didn't mean it. I have you. You're not a, oh, this is what the note says. You're not just as soon as them. It's just so I feel like I feel very lonely and overwhelmed, but I love you, Piper. Aw. Thanks for the apology note, sis. Uh-oh, wait, is it not gonna be? I, I know it sucks living in this house, but I'm here for you, no matter what. No matter what, huh? Go back to your coffin, Phil's ghost. I'm tired. Sure, good night. She didn't leave that note, did she? What should I do now? <gasps> oh, that's the power outage. Ah, shit. Again? Where's the flashlight, Rose? Looks like a blackout. Is it just us or is it the city? Indeed, the town is pitch black, pitch dark. The electrical station has been updated since World War II. There's no way it can withstand a cold wave like this. this... Seriously, Tim? Filling us gas? What's with this Tim guy? I want to know. Tim Tim Horton? There's a cat. Thanks. Black cat. That's not very good. No, I feel like something's gonna be going on with the. I don't like that. House? What the hell? Duh, that's exactly what I said. What's that? Why, okay? <gasps> Wait, whoa, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Well, Wednesday, 8 a.m. <gasps> this is, uh, today is my day. So a nice <laughs> change of pace. You accept your date with Brian or something? <gasps> Oh, it's her birthday! Aw, oh. that's cute. Hope it's not a voucher for a motherly hug. No. Oh. No pulp. Just lay it I like it. Cupcake! Black coffee? What is wrong with you? My first caffeinated beverage. Like a grown-up. Does it taste good? Hey, it's your mom. Chocolate cupcake. Cupcake. Yum. Did you think I forgot? I got up early to make a, to bake a batch. Ah, you're the best. Aw, happy birthday, honey. Thanks, mom. 
<laughs> Perhaps my coming of age includes a pay raise. <laughs> nice try. You still have years of learning ahead, honey. You can take the afternoon off and celebrate with your friends. Oh, and don't forget to open that envelope. I hope you like the contents. It's a voucher for a motherly hug. Who's buzzing you? It is a cat case. Brian, what's up, neighbor? Happy birthday! Brian, you remembered! Thank you! Was I the first one? Tell me I was. Yeah, yeah, sure you were. Would you like to hang out with me after work? I have a present for you. Mm. Really? <laughs> In that case, I'd love to. I need to go out, go to the Larners first. Phil needs some supplies. Come with me. Uh-uh. Uh, it's probably a bad idea. I don't think Phil likes me very much. Uh, it's kind of mutual, to be honest. Yeah, I noticed. Uh, I'll call you later, okay? Awesome. Have a super duper amazing day. I, l I don't like Aww. the positivity from this guy. How cute. Um, is there any mail? Who sent me this thing? So creepy. Hey, that's, um... Fuck, what's his name? The the doll from uh, Mid the last Midnight Scenes episode. Ah, uh, who... I love the reference. That's such, that's so interesting. Uh, what's his name? Uh, I think it's Parker, I think the name is. I'll look it up later. That's cute. Okay. Can I, like... Okay. I can't go that way. This this mailbox is blocking my path. Uh, go, go back inside. The... Okay. I guess not. I'm gonna walk past Brian's house because I'm not a huge fan of him. Uh, but I could get the interaction. Okay. Look forward to celebrating with you this evening, Brian. You really know how to cheer me up. Oh no, you're giving up on Phil. Is there not a blackout for like a big storm? Good morning, F Noel. I'm glad. To, I'm so glad to see you. Good morning, Father Adams. On your way to work? Yeah, winter is crazy busy. So many home deliveries. I can imagine your mother is very lucky to have you. The Lord and I, on the other hand, very have very little work these days. What? It's cold wave. People don't feel like leaving their houses. Hmm. Duh, it does look like a ghost town, doesn't it? You think you could, could convince you to come to mass this Sunday? I'm very happy to preach for somebody. Preach for someone besides the stone walls. Uh, well, I'm not particularly religious. Oh, that's fine. My mentor used to say that you didn't need to believe in zombies to enjoy a horror movie. I mean, true, but this is different. My sermons are quite fun, I promise. Sure. Sure. Uh, I'll think about it. Oh, and bring your friend Phil, too. I've been seeing him on the basketball court for weeks. Yes, well, uh, he's having a rough time. Sorry to hear that. I'll stop by the Larners once one of these days to say hello. Well, uh, I won't keep you any longer, Noel. It was lovely to see you. Say hello to your mother. You just stand outside and watch people go by. <sighs> Fellow's watching. Interesting.
Back to the mines. The children can't get away from the mines. We saw in Koopa's cherry juice again. Gross. Today's payday. <laughs> Just like ka ching ka ching ka ching ka ching money business bunny business dollars savings PL uh whatever. Mom Thanks for the awesome gift, Mom. I'm so excited to go to Anime Con this year. Oh she got you tickets! Wish I had someone to go with. You have two tickets now. Maybe Phil will break his lockdown to go with you? I don't think you can choose when to feel ill or not, Mom. She doesn't know, does she? Well, what about that boy Brian? Seen, I've seen you spending a lot of time together. Um, Brian doesn't care about anime. Brian has never seen an anime in his life! But who knows, I might be able to drag him into the cult. Hey mom, hmm? about Phil, his parents canceled his bank account and he can't order food. Mm -mm. Stop right there, the answer is no, we don't do loans. But mom, Phil has a family who takes care of him, he's not our responsibility. We give food to Mrs. Potter every month, is she our responsibility? She has no one, it's not the same. Those parents only want to keep appearances. They don't care about his mental health. Please, Mom, he needs our help. That's enough. I'm not going to be the villain in this movie. Uh, bring him whatever you want, but it will come out of your pocket. Oh. Damn, Phil, you're making... Uh, okay, I guess that's fair. You're making... You're making Noel spend a hundred bucks for you? Uh, and now go change. We have work to do. Well, Wednesday, 5.05 p.m. Interesting. What's the ad for? Help us save Sparkle. Our kitten was attacked by two crows on Main Street. Oh no. We don't have enough money to pay for vet expenses. We need your help. Donate now, what? Yeah, I'm good. Let's go back this way. Well, I guess not. I don't even want to know. Looks bloody. <laughs> A pebble. A paperweight. Or one more for my paperweight collection. We collect rocks. Find the pebble to fill this house. Okay, let's be careful. I don't want the learners to catch me bringing stuff for Phil. I'll leave the bags under his window. How is he supposed to get them? Whoa. There is an odor. I should have known the bags are here. The bottles will explode in this cold. That they will do, because liquids expand in the cold. Um. Nah. Lemon on the back. Okay, fine, whatever. I'm gonna throw a rock at him. How about the rock? You're the best. I don't know what I'd do without you. 
Don't thank me. You owe me seventy-four dollars. Oh, and a uh, complimentary chocolate bar. To celebrate my birthday. Oh shit! I forgot. Uh oh. Sorry. It's hard to keep track of the calendar in here. Happy birthday! Don't sweat it. You owe me seventy-four dollars and a nice gift. Promise. Promise. By the way, make sure you close your waste containers tightly. Your garden smells horrible. Ooh. Yikes. Sorry. Uh, be care more careful next time. Uh, I'm, I'm out of here. My ass is freezing. <laughs> Enjoy the chocolate bar. Phew, okay, thank goodness. One more day without food and I'd start, start looking like one-eyed Willy. Okay, time to refill the pantry. Cool. And he's wearing gloves this time. Nice attention to detail. That looks much better. Home delivery, satisfy your hunger. As for you, you go down right now. Ah, uh, hazelnuts, my favorite. Uh-oh. Philip, are you there, my dear? Oh no. Oh. We have a visitor. It's Father Adams. Hello, Phil. I hope you're doing well. I like the character that the characters light up as they're talking. Your mom says you're feeling a bit down lately. If there's anything I can do to help, you can talk to me, okay? There's nothing to be ashamed of. The Lord tests our resilience by putting challenges in front of us. I pray for you, my son. And please, don't forget your parents are suffering too. Be compassionate with them. They're not being comp very compassionate with him. I'm just saying. Thank you, Father. I appreciate you coming here. I'm sorry I couldn't be of much help. Oh, you absolutely were. For me. Would you like some tea? It would be lovely. Thank you. I'll have the chance to admire that impressive hunting trophy in your dining room. It's from three years ago. Jacob is very proud of it. Ugh. Fuck this town. Whoa, what the fuck? Uh... Whoa, what the hell? You're my biggest disappointment. I'll get your ass out of this room. Dead or alive, you hear me? Nightmare. No! My stomach. Whoa. Uh. Whoa. Uh. This is not good. Not good at all. Uh. Oh my god, I'm dying. Are you dying? Barely ate yesterday. Why am I so sick? Maybe I can find an online doctor. Well, uh, it's probably because of such a low intake of food. It hurts a lot. 
Oh, shit. Oh. oh. Fuck. If I wait a little longer, I'll feel better. Ah, <laughs> oh, the pain. Maybe not. It's very late, but I should probably ask for help. Uh. No, I feel like Noelle is gonna leave to the. Let's try Piper first. Piper. Piper, are you awake? I need your help. Fuck. It hurts. Yeah, I knew. I knew P Piper wouldn't be anything. Are you awake? I'm very sick. My stomach hurts like hell and I can't stop throwing up. What should I do? I have no meds here. can't stand it anymore. I have to do it. I have to go out. I've been sleeping now. I could go down to the bathroom and get something for the pain without being noticed. Ooh. All right, I'm going out. Oh. Ooh. This is it. Uh, come on, Phil. You can do it. I can do it. Just gotta go downstairs, pick up the meds, and come back. Quick and quiet. Whoa. Nothing. She always sleeps with the headphones on. Then why'd you try her before? Disgusting. Get to see the rest of the house. So many stairs. Found his office. Bathroom. Don't even try. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Rose, could I please have a glass of water too? Sure thing. What are they doing up? She's just grabbing some water, it looks like. I see what he means. That was close. Let's keep going. Pain's killing me. I need to find something for my stomach. Uh. Okay. Okay. Oh, cabinet. There has to be something in here for the pain. Let's see. You need like um, tums or a uh, <laughs> cream pot. <laughs> pills, pills, eye drops. Would be cream, foot prepping. Don't walk that much lately. Mm -hmm. I didn't even read what that mm -hmm. says. Uh, rejection, not what I'm looking for. Pills, painkillers. Yes, this may work. What? Oh. Ugh. Should go back to my room before someone finds me. Very carefully. Just, uh, shut up. Fuck. I hope no one heard it. Probably not. Okay, come on, Phil. Let's try this again. 
needs more light, it looks like. <gasps> Philip, you finally left your room. I knew you'd make it, son. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Let's celebrate. Like a family. <gasps> Another nightmare. That's what I thought. In the terminate day. 11 a.m. Shit, shit, shit. These fucking nightmares ever stop? At least the stomach ache was part of the dream. Damn it, I thought that was real. <laughs> Fuck. I didn't think my heart can take this much longer. Perhaps these night terrors are a symptom of my reclusive life? How about your parents? I think they're a symbol of trauma from your parents. Anyway, I have another exciting day ahead. Let's leave him alone, Jacob. I don't, I don't think he knows anything about Piper. He's a learner. If that devil girl runs away from home, it's its duty to help us find her. What? She ran away? This time she emptied her, emptied her closet, though. What if she's gone for good? If that's the case, good riddance. She can look for the family she deserves in hell. That's not very nice. She broke her boyfriend's arm two days ago, and now this. Poor Jake. She just pushed him, but he had a bad fall. I'm so ashamed. His parents must think we raised a savage. If we didn't have enough with her, this lazy son of yours. This asshole? Who is this guy? Fuck this guy. Honestly. Brah, what a waste of time. Why even bother? He's probably sleeping or playing video games. Oh, well, the only things he's interested in. I didn't even realize I didn't finish my Pepsi. I thought I did. Fuck. Fuck is right. Stream is still going. Okay. Right? Stay on the page for just a second longer. Fuck. Come on, Piper. Don't lose your mind now. Are you there? I heard my parents talking. Piper ran away from home. She took all her things. I don't think she's coming back. I'm worried. Cool it with the messages, man. What? Oh no. Hey, don't worry, okay? She'll be back as soon as she runs out of money. This time I have a bad feeling. You know that Piper can be a bit unpredictable. Maybe she's with that boyfriend of hers? I don't think so. They had a small fight. There were some broken bones. Oh my god. Wow. Yeah, she's uh, having a very rough time. Her world is crumbling down and then I'm not there for her. Maybe she needs someone else to talk to? A professional? Come on, it's my fucking family we're talking about. Who needs to shrink when we have the church? You know, that's fair. These, these Midnight Scene games, they don't hold any punches. They just go straight for it. It's interesting. <sighs> I'll keep my ears open, okay? I'll tell you if I hear anything. Bye. Something wrong, honey? Phil's sister Piper, she ran away. 
Again? Didn't she leave last month too? I feel for the Larners. They must be going through a lot with those two kids. Uh, the phone is ringing non-stop today. Isn't the phone on that? Uh-oh. Brian! What's up, neighbor? Hey, Brian. My fridge is worryingly, worryingly low on beer. Wait. Are you adults? How old are you? I'm getting some six-packs before I suffer my stepfather's wrath. Wait. Is he even allowed to do that? You know where they are. Hey, thank you for spending time with me yesterday. It was fun. Did you think about the anime con thing? Will you come with me? Well, I'm a bit freaked out by being surrounded by geeks like you. But how could I refuse? Of course I'll go. <laughs> Not everybody will be a geek. Our non-geek partners will be there too. Right. I like the sound of it. What? What? Oh, by the way. How high is your tolerance for cringe? Uh, mid to low? I have to wear a Euro... Yuru Neon costume at the convention? I can't show off my new... Oh, I can't. Uh, something cosplay without a something by my side? I didn't understand a word you said, but okay, I guess. Whatever makes you happy. Brilliant. Not that it was negotiable. Good morning, Mrs. Hayashi. Hello, Brian. No, we need to talk. Please come to the office. Sure, Mom. Something wrong? I'll wait for you inside. That's, uh... That's worrying. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. A reprimand is coming. Did you put the soda on the wrong shelf? You idiot. I'll be right back. Let's go. What's going on? What's wrong, Mom? Please sit down. Please, take a seat. Welcome to my office. Um, how about no? Okay, fine, I'll sit. Uh, it was Faith on the phone, your father's girlfriend. Why? Why does it feel like that chair is too small? Whatever. Oh? He's been feeling unwell these past few weeks, so he we went for a checkup. They found a tumor in his lung. <laughs> wow. He got the test results today, and it's cancerous. <laughs> Mom, I'm so sorry, honey. Faith said it's very widespread. He doesn't have much time left. No, this can't be happening. I... I thought you didn't like your dad? Huh. Hmm. Where the hell are you, Noelle? Why are you spying on it? You've been silent for hours. Why are you freaking spying on her? Come on, I need to talk to you. Pixel art, always amazing, I should say. She's been crying. Hey. I'm sorry I didn't log in earlier. I, I just... I got terrible news. I'm just trying to process it. What happened? It's my father. He's very ill. Terminally ill. Mm. Oh, God. I'm so sorry, Noelle. Tomorrow I'll be flying to Chicago. Oh, she's leaving. I need to be by his side. 
don't question it. I understand. When are you coming back? I don't know. I want to be with him throughout the process. Maybe a few months. A few months? As much time as he has left. Oh no. That's, that's very bad for Phil. It's also a very quick decision to be flying out tomorrow. Uh, I just wanted you to know. Months? No, well, no, no, well, wait. I'll take my next semester online. And Brian will replace me at the shop. What? I'm sure he'll lend you a hand in whatever way he can. Brian? No, that you will leave me to starve. Please, you can't leave. I need you here with me. Oh, don't. Hmm. Stop. Phil, stop. I can't keep going without you. You're the only person who cares about me here. What the fuck is all this, Phil? My father is dying. No, I can't lose you. Uh, uh, uh I'm, hmm. I'm kind of on Noelle's side on this one. What am I supposed to do? Fuck you, Phil. I love you, but you're being a selfish asshole. Please, Noelle. If you leave, I'll do something crazy, I swear. No, that, no, 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 no. No, 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 this can't be happening. The only thing that keeps me going. You say I promise to do better. Be the person you want me to be. How about you leave the room? You know, I, hmm. This is kind of taking a side, you know? Taking a turn. Fuck. No. What the hell, Phil? Emotional blackmail? Seriously? Don't you ever say that shit again. Damn, this can't be happening. Uh, nothing will change, I promise. We keep texting each other like we do now. Phil? What? What is happening? Phil, remember. Enough! You dare leave me like this. You're scaring me, please answer. Did he kill himself? You still don't remember, do you? Something happened. It's us. Remember. Switching to Noel. Hey, are you okay? So unfair. As if I didn't have enough of Dad dying, now Phil is acting like an asshole. 
I told him leaving. I told him I'm leaving, and he went nuts. He was really upset. I'm, I'm afraid he might do something stupid. Don't say that. I'm sure he's fine. <laughs> Moving to Chicago is the right decision. You hear me? Wait, was it her idea? Or was it Noelle's? I think it's hers. I think it's hers. You deserve to enjoy some time with your father while you can. Don't let Phil or anyone else ruin this for you. I know, but I'm his only friend. I'm, his, I'm afraid he might have a ma mental breakdown without my help. Okay, listen. If you really think he might hurt himself, let's call his parents. We need to warn them. No. I don't want to alarm them unnecessarily. You know him better than anyone. If you think he's in danger, it's worth the risk. That is fair. I guess you're right. I'm gonna call them. No answer. They might be out looking for Piper? I'm going to this place. I need to make sure he's alright. Well, hold on. Fine, but up. Uh, fine, but I'm going with you. It's late. Cool. Phil. Phil. What happened? Was something with Piper? Remember now? We found her at the bus station, sleeping on a bench. She was waiting for the night bus to Los Angeles. Los Angeles? What the hell were you thinking, you stupid fool? Oh. Jesus Christ, Piper. Damn. Well, my work here is done. <laughs> I'll ask the station to close the incident. And Jacob, uh, don't be too hard on her. My Diane is the same age, and, well, what can I tell you? Beauty destroys their little brains. That's, uh, it's a real good mindset to have. Thanks, Gabe. Really appreciate what all, I appreciate all of you've done. I don't like where this is going. <sighs> Should I bring Piper some soup? She might be starving. No, this has gone too far. We're gonna have the dinner. We're gonna have dinner like a family for once. Go and drag your sister down here. I want her sitting in this chair now. You heard your father. <sighs> oh wait, he's doing it. Oh. Uh, no. office. In the office and cleans his hunting weapons. But she cared as much about us. The music's interesting. So we should go, could go to bed and skip dinner. Piper! It's me, open the door. I think father will call the army if you don't come down right now. Oh, he's a vet? Uh-oh. Piper? Okay, I'm coming in. Whoa. Where the hell are you now? Smells musty in here, should 
shade. Open the lens window and let in some clean air. She's not in there. What's that paper here? Did she run away again? Just hopped out the window or did she go in here? Piper, what are you doing? Hey. Whoa. This... what? Hang on a second. I'll give him one last chance. Nothing. Why don't we ring the doorbell like normal people? She did something. At least there's a light on Phil's room. Are we... Something's moving in there. A rat? Smells like death. Smells like death. Hello? This is M Mr. and Mrs. Larner? Oh god, mom. They found Phil injured and went to the hospital. Or maybe they went out and Phil's in there all alone, dying. We have to go in. Honey, we can't just break into a house. I know something's wrong, Mom. I really do. I must have a spare key hidden somewhere. Uh... Oh, we're gonna end up in jail. could be a good hiding place for a key. Looks like the head can be detached somehow. Fuck it, no time for this. <gasps> Noel! For an object. There's the key! Ah, I knew it! Yeah, uh... Locked tight. Well, use the key. You better stay out. Just in case. If you see something, shout. Do you do this often? <laughs> Phil? Ah, what's the smell? Where the hell's the light switch? A feeling. She killed them and herself. What? Wiper, what are you doing? So she's been... Hey! Another blackout? Really? Rose, where's the flashlight? Oh! He's been hallucinating! 
Piper, what? But what? Piper, no! <gasps> My God, what have you done? <gasps> the darling. The shadows keep asking me over and over. My nightmares are taking shape, and I'm afraid they hide a terrible truth. No, it's not possible. I have to go out. Downstairs. So he's been. Has he. Has he been hallucinating all of this? Look for answers. Did he. Did they die and he immediately just went to his room? pile up in a disjointed mess but deep inside I know something's terrible something terrible happened in this house the trauma was so bad he doesn't remember or he's hallucinating it hello is anyone home the dining room is where I need to go Phil! What the fuck have you done? Hey, how could you? You're a monster. No, 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 he thinks... No, I... Father. Mother? Oh no, Piper! He's actually lost his mind. Stay away from me! I, I, I didn't... can't be happening. You don't understand. I remember now. It wasn't me. It was... I don't understand. I've been talking to you all this time. I heard your voices. Hallucinating. You have to help me, please. Oh no, you are in some deep shit, my friend. You, ew, it's not looking good. I saw it, Noel. I saw Piper falling into the abyss, and I, I should have done more. <sighs> Phil! Noel, what's going- Oh god. <gasps> My god! My god is right. Mom, call the police, quick. Oh, that's not gonna look good for you guys. Eesh.
Fucking hell. That boy has a lot to explain. Everything points to the girl murdering her parents. Then she turned a weapon on herself and... Oh, carnage. I can't remember a case like this since the Johnstons. And that was 15 years ago. Could see the boy's room? What a mess. Who knows how long he's been locked up there. Poor kid. I guess he snapped after witnessing that horror. I mean, that makes sense. I don't blame him. Come on, let's finish cordoning off the area. It's starting to get crowded here. Do I get to play it as the officer? I'm sorry you had to see that, honey. Do you think you could come with me to the station? Uh, we need your statement. Of course, whatever you need. Uh, Sheriff, will he be okay? The doctor says he's in shock and dehydrated, but he'll recover. Don't worry about him. He'll be fine. How can I be so blind all this time? Don't blame yourself. It's not worth it. No one knows what people are going through. We suffer... We each suffer our own hell in silence. That is true. Coroner. The morgue. Snow is, uh, interesting. Wow. Includes tonight's episode. Poor Phil. He has a long road ahead to recover this, the light of his existence. The safe place he was hiding in turned out to be just a figment of his imagination. But on the other hand, isn't it for everyone? Well, that's fair. Make sure you check the doors and windows tightly. Take a look inside your closet and under your bed before going to sleep. You never know what kind of horrors are lurking in the dark. We'll see you soon in the next episode of night scenes damn made it to the end wow that was impeccable Artavi Navarro Susanna Gr Grinnell amazing job that was that was great. I was not expecting that. Uh, at all. After credits? Thank you for playing, streaming, watching this game. Oh, doggy. Midnight scene. And just like that, we're back at the beginning. All right. Well, that is going to do it for me. That was awesome. I loved that. It was very, like, the the amount of mystery that was going on the entire time. It just, it had me. It gripped me. And it's so many questions. So many questions. Uh, and, like... Uh, like I, I love the progression that they're taking with this like the the like the bold statements it went from like just a ooh a, a spooky like 30 minute episode to just like punching you in the gut and taking your heart out and then like whipping it around in a circle and smacking you in the face with it like my god like they have definitely stepped up their game um, from just the last episode. <laughs> like, I've been playing for like two hours now. Um, that that was great. 
I I loved that. That was amazing. Um, the pixel art was great as always. The the effects were better. The sound effects improved. Um, the story flow was interesting. Um, wow. Like honestly, like it it seems like a cliche rug pull at the end, but. I still fell on my ass. It was great. I I was so entranced in what was going on. It was amazing. And like like it started to like have me at like turn against Phil at the end there a little bit. And then it just spun it back around. <laughs> wow. That was insane. And now like all the dots connect. The reason why the bank was canceled. The... Oh, uh, what, what else was it? Um, why he just locked himself in his room and refused to come out. Because there's something out there that he didn't want to see. And is traumatized whenever he does see it. Um, which is literally the dead bodies of his parents and his dead sister. <laughs> Like, wow, that is crazy. <sighs> Hold on. Seems so... uh, actually, I can just use Steam. What am I talking about? From the woods. Um. Elijah. Oh, it doesn't say. Who, it doesn't say who the name is. Oh. <sighs> That's fine. I'll I'll look that up later. But that that was great. Octavi and your team, excellent job. You you fucking floored it. It that was, apps that was great, and I I love that they are being bold and not pulling any punches, and not like hiding or like skimming any like dark subjects from us, and I think that's great. Um, you you have courage, man. I will say that you definitely have courage. Um. Uh, I don't really have anything else to say. I mean, the, the game was great. Uh, the game is great. You should check it out. It's on Steam. Um, I don't think I changed the link. Uh, oh, no, I did. Okay. Yeah, the, the link is in the description if you want to play it for yourself. I highly recommend that you do. And also check out the rest of the, the Midnight Scene series. Because this, this creator is amazing. And I definitely... He has other games that I plan to play. Um, so stick around for that. Oh, I'm sorry. I bumped the mic there. But yeah, it, that just makes me that more, much more excited to check out his other games. Cause that was great. And, um, I am excited to see what he does in the future. And I hope that you are too. Um, but yeah, that's, that's going to be it for me. Thank you all for watching. Um, if you want to see more of my streaming shenanigans, uh, there's a subscription, a subscribe button down below. Make sure you hit it. I have over a year's worth of, uh, streams that I've been streaming over the past year with, uh, dozens of games for you to check out. Uh, if I don't feel your fancy right now, I'm sure I will eventually. Um, so I highly recommend you stick around for the ride. There's always a uh, good chaos going along and, um, I think it's something that you should check out and I think you should enjoy. Um, uh, also down below is a Steam link to a game that I made, my own game of my own creation. Uh, there is no sleep. It's only a dollar for you to check out. Um, I highly recommend that you do. It's a fun time. Um, <clears throat> and uh, I think you will enjoy it. Uh, also down below is a, uh, Twitch linked to me and my brother's podcast, Agents of Chaos. Uh, we stream live there, uh, sporadically. 
And then the episodes are re-uploaded right here. Uh, I highly recommend you check it out. It's a good time, some gaffes and goofs uh, all around a good time. Um, all, and then finally down below, there's a link to my Patreon uh, where I make an episode every month with um, whatever project I'm working on for about 30 to 40 minutes. So if you want to check that out, uh, I highly recommend you do. It's only $1 a month, a very good price if you ask me. Uh, so it's a uh, good bang for your buck. So I highly recommend it. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to be it for me. Uh, thank you all again for watching. I hope uh, everybody's having a great day, great hour, great week, whatever, whenever you're up to. I hope you're doing well. Uh, and as usual with uh, as Midnight Scenes has taught us, uh, make sure you um, care about people, be there for them, support them. You never, know, you never know when they might need you, and you never know when their world might be crumbling down. So um, be there for your people, and they'll be there for you. Um, mental support, mental health, keep it up, keep it well, keep everybody in your view sight, whatever the hell that means. Just care about people and don't forget about them because they, you, you never know what they might be going through. So um, please keep them in your hearts. Um, just, yeah, just be there for them. <laughs> um, yeah, that's going to be it for me. Thank you all again for watching. I hope everybody's doing well. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, everybody.